Hello, welcome to Pyrex screencast. In this screencast I'll introduce you to the tables widget. Then I'll show you some of the new features added to Pyrex version 0.5. Let's start with the tables widget. Here you'll see three tables, ligands, targets and dogging results. The entries in this ligands table are created when you right click on a molecule and select auto dog make ligand. You can also create these entries using OpenBubble widget here, so when you create Autodoc ligand using OpenBubble widget, it will also add an entry to this ligands table. The entries in the targets table are created when you run Autogrid on a given target, and the entries on this docking results table are created when you use Autodoc wizard and come to this analyze results page it will parse the docking log file and store the lowest binding energy in this docking results table. So new in 0.5 is the save as comma separated value. You can use it to export this table into a CSV file so that you can analyze it with your favorite spreadsheet program. Also new in 0.5 is this plot icon here. If you click on that one it will open this table plotting dialog. By default it will select docking result and plot on the y-axis the binding energy on, and on the x-axis the index of the ligand. I've been experimenting to see what will happen if I add the unbound energy back to binding energy so here you can select the plus sign but this is some experimental feature that you can use if you want to. So you can also select the ligands table and in this case it will show the size of the ligand so you will see what kind of ligands you have in your in your virtuals for your virtual screening you can also select the targets table and it will show the size of the targets you have run so far so let's go back to the docking results here I'll cancel here so this this docking results I run this virtual screening to compare the autodoc results with the popcam bioassay here is the uh, corresponding bioassay from PubChem. You can save this bioassay as CSV file. I've saved already this and I'll open this with Pyrex. So you can see in this table there is this column corresponding to the ligand and also there is this outcome column that can have active or inactive values. So if now I go back and click on this icon you'll see that I have this new ROC curve here. So on, on the docking result plot I plot the uh, active compounds in red and the inactive compounds in blue and this on this ROC curve on the x axis it's the rate of false positive versus the rate of true positive and if you select uh, results randomly you will get this dotted curve here. I've run also a couple of other uh, experiments with PopCam bioassays. You can see here Autodoc produced the perfect ROC curve. Here the uh, binding energies of all the active compounds are lower than the, the binding energies of the inactive. So in this case we have the this all these active compounds are on this y-axis and these two inactives are on this uh, on this x-axis here. Let's go back to Pyrex. If you click OK, it will open this, uh, store this in this 2D plots widget. You can zoom here, for example, to see this region more clearly. And you can also save this as an image. So let's go back to these documents. So I'll talk about these two other feature, new features added to Pyrex 0.5. One of them is selecting alternate confirmations. So when you come here, and in this case, this particular macromolecule has alternate confirmations, and when you uh, right click on it and select Autodoc make macromolecule, it will open this widget that will let you select different al al alternate confirmations. In this case, for example, I'll see this arginine 76 here. I'll go down to find this, here's this arginine 76. I'll highlight it and zoom in so that we can see different alternate confirmations here. 
So here you can see that there are two alternate confirmations. In Pyrex you can also click on the P key on the keyboard and it will pick this atom so you can see the coordinates of this atom and the full name that shows that this is coming from this protein this chain A uh, arginine 76 and it's a carbon uh, w with alternate conformation A so now when when you create autodoc macromolecule I usually select the defaults here it will create a macromolecule with only one confirmation here. You can see it selected only one alternate confirmation here. Also new in 0.5 is this option to select the flexible residue. Here I can select a couple of residues here. You can right click on it and it will open this Autodoc menu and you can select flexible residues. And what this will do, it will create a PDBQT file under macromolecules here's this with underscore flex and it will store the flexible residues in this flex.pdbqt file and the rigid molecule will, will be stored with this underscore flex.pdbqt so when you run this autodoc wizard it will use this flexible residues in, uh, in the virtual screening this concludes this screencast thank you for watching bye